Hello, my name is Enar Martin, Customer Solution Architect at Broadcom. In this session, I will show you DXAPM11, Experience View, Assistance Triage, and Analysis Notebook. The Experience View in DXAPM focuses on the aggregation of transactions, the health status, and is the starting point to investigate the problems. The experience view is composed of the experience cards. Here you can see an experience card. These experience cards can use the attributes to be defined. We can create an experience card for each application or business transaction. We can also create just two experience card for my whole environment. One critical applications and the other for non-critical applications, for example. So, it's possible to define how we want to organize our experience card. APM automatically does all the calculations and groups the information in the experience card. We can consider the experience view as the consumer view. It represents how is the experience of someone consuming or using, using the applications. Imagine in a complex environment with containers, microservices, the experience view provides the experience that the end user is having, and we can see just at a glance. Experience view is the starting point to investigate a problem. Here we have some transactions. The experience card represents the element in the left, the component where the transaction starts the first component that is handling the transaction. Let's see the information provided by an experience card. A health score calculated considering the total of the transaction, the problems and the anomalies, the response time breakdown of the transaction. We also have the number of the slow transaction and the number of transactions with errors and an icon to quickly understand the overall health status. To calculate this health status, we consider how red is red, which is the impact in the health. Here we can see the complete picture. This is how our experience view looks like. At a glance, we have the overall health information of our system, the volume of traffic, the response time breakdown, slow responses, errors, average response time, and throughput. All status information is displayed in the different experience cards. As I said, it's possible to define the experience cards by using attributes. I can quickly identify what is occurring in my applications or transactions and if there is any impact in the user experience. The experience card displays information about problems and anomalies. Let's see which is the difference between them. Problems are severe errors. Anomalies are minor issues. Something to look at, something to pay attention. Here, in this example, imagine that suddenly we have two components in the map getting red two elements of our transaction going red. This could be, for example, a high response time in a web service call, or an anomaly in the response time, a response time that is not following the normal behavior. The system detects one anomaly with two affected components. But the end user experience is not being impacted. We are talking about an anomaly. One, the experience card displays some errors and the end user experience is impacted, we are talking about a problem. In this example, DXAPM has detected one problem with three affected components. Assistive triage is going to help us to determine which is the most probable root cause of the problem that is affecting the user experience. Assistive triage provides a quick and easy way to determine the cause of a problem using intuitive workflows in analysis notebook. 
This accelerates application troubleshooting to ensure application performance at all times. Let's see how assisted triage engine works. Let's take, let's take a sample application. You can replace XYZ for the web server, the database, so on. These are the components of the transaction. At 8.18.20, eight, at 18, we have a stall in the call to the database. At 18.22, I experience timeouts in my invocations to a web service. And finally, at 18.25, differential analysis, our technology that detects anormal behaviors in the applications, identifies that, that the end user response time is not normal. We collect all the evidence types, the error components. In this case, we have three. The relationship between the components and the sequence of the problem, that means what occurred first, second, and third. And all of this data is analyzed by the assisted triage analyst, and the suspect is identified, the root cause of the problem. So let's investigate which problem we are having that is affecting the user experience. From the user experience card, it's possible to open the analysis notebook to see the detail of the problem or the anomaly and the evidences that the assisted triage engine has analyzed and evaluated. We have the option to create a searchable link to the isolated problem description. As we said, the assisted triage engine analyze the transaction path end-to-end, -end. records every single problem in each component of the transaction, and set problems into categories and sort them chronologically. Here, as a result, we have the suspect, the most probably root cause of the problem. In this case, there are errors in the database that are affecting to the user experience. Let's open the analysis notebook. The analysis notebook provides all the detailed information related to a problem. On top, we have the transaction health information that shows the performance, throughput, error rate, response time distribution of the isolated transaction. We have the topology in context of the transaction where the problem is occurring. We have isolated this single transaction out of the transactions map. On the left, we have all the evidences related to a problem which has been analyzed and correlated automatically to determine which is the most probable root cause of the issue. In other words, the symptoms and the culprit are displayed. Assisted triage feature considers all alerts, errors, and stall events not only from the application, but also from the infrastructure where the application is running. This is a very powerful feature that automatically determines the culprit of the problem. A part of the look and feel of the analysis notebook that has been improved in DX APM 11 now is possible to enable or disable the information that is displayed. DXAPN 11 includes the new evidence timeline. This tab displays alerts, response times, stalls, and unstable responses for individual components over a selected time period that are related to a problem. They are sorted chronologically. Usually, the culprit occurred the first and later the symptom. As you can see, we have also the error detail with the error message. There is a problem in an insert on a database. A part of this information, at the bottom of the analysis notebook, we have in context the following, the following. The metric T with the metrics gathering from the selected component in the map. Performance time comparison to compare the evolution in time of certain metrics. Components with the information of the attributes. Attributes, information that we associate 
to each element in the map. We can define multiple attributes associated to an element. Some of these attributes are created out of the box, but we can also set custom attributes for each single element. Remember that attributes are time sensitive. Here I have the requests that have been done to this concrete transaction. If I select one of them, the transaction view of this request is open. Sorry, here is the... The transaction view gives a detailed information of this single transaction. A transaction trace records, records the application calls, database calls, and external calls. It's possible to use transaction traces to troubleshoot performance issues and to get detailed, low-level insight into how the application is working. We can see on top the components involved in the transaction correlated and the time each element took. If we select a segment, detailed information is displayed. Here in the transaction trace view, we can see the problematic transaction. All the details of the components involved are correlated and in red where the problem is occurring. And very important, the error details. Here we can see the error message. There is a problem in an insert on the database. Transaction case view helps to carry out the deep dive diagnostics because we have the transaction details as they have occurred. The transaction trace provides detailed information and helps to understand the call stack components, duration and invocation. Details such as classes and methods are displayed and also the source line of the issue. So this makes easy to find the problem in the code and facilitates to quickly fix and solve the issue. As we can see, just in a few clicks from the experience view, we have solved a problem that was impacted the end user experience. Just to summarize, we have seen from the experience view how the end user experience is affected. The problematic transaction is isolated. DXAPM provides all the detailed information regarding the problem to understand what is occurring and identify the suspect, the root cause. Finally, the last step is the communication. Communicate the problem and share the right information. Hope this session has been useful. Thanks for watching.